Okay, the practice question, CD, that's about the advanced investment appraisal. And what is the particular requirement? Assume that you are the finance manager of CD, evaluate alternative 2 using NPV. Discount payback, internal rate of return and approximate modified internal rate of return. B. Calculate the project duration for alternative 2 and discuss the significance of your result if you are told that the duration for the alternative is 3.2 years. Evaluate the two alternatives and recommend which alternative the entity should choose including in your answer discussion about what other criteria should be considered before a final decision is taken. These are three parts related to this question. Okay, now start. Number one, CD is a furniture manufacturer based in the UK. UK, that's local currency sterling, manufactures a limited range of furniture products to a very high quality, sells to a small number of retail outlets worldwide. At a recent meeting with one of its major customers, it became clear that the market is changing and the final, final consumer of CD products is now more interested in a variety and choice rather than exclusive and exceptional quality. Means actually they wanted to invest in more uh, aspects. CD is therefore reviewing two mutually exclusive alternatives. Candidates two mutually exclusive alternatives. What does that mean? Two mutually exclusive arrangement means Evaluating two options and getting one. So, mutually exclusive means evaluating different options, but final decision is based on any one. So, to apply the selection of its product, that is alternative one. Alternative one. And alternative two. To continue to manufacture but expand its product range and reduce its quality. So alternative one is that continue to manufacture and expand product range. The NPV and IRR and MIRR of the alternative have already been calculated as follows. Okay. So alternative one, NPV 1.45 sterling million using nominal discount at 9%. IRR 10.5%, MIRR 13.2%, payback 2.6 years discounted, payback 3.05 years. If nothing is mentioned in the can question, candidates, if nothing is mentioned in the question, then we will assume that if nothing is mentioned in the question, then we will assume that any calculated figure in the question is correct any calculated figure in the question correct next alternative two to import furniture ac car car cases in flat packs from the US, US imports would be in a variety of types of wood and unvarnished CD would buy in bulk from its US supplier, assemble and varnish the furniture and resale mainly to existing customers. An initial investigation into potential source of supply, cost of transportation has already been carried by carried out by consultancy entity at a cost of 75,000 sterling. Initial investigation into potential sources, supplier, cost, transportation already been carried out by consultant 75,000 this is what the cost has already incurred and we will consider as a sunk cost we will consider it as a sunk cost we will not consider this cost in the investment appraisal sunk cost 
Furthermore, series finance directors provided estimate of the net sterling US dollar cash flows from this alternative. These net cash flows in real terms and shown below. Real terms in the US dollar. That means in foreign currency candidates 25.6, Following information is relevant. CD evaluates all its investment using the nominal sterling cash flows, nominal discount rate. All non UK customers are invoiced US dollars. US dollars nominal cash was converted to sterling at the forward conversion forward rate and discounted at the UK nominal rate. For the purposes of the evaluation, assume the entity has a three years time horizon for investment appraisals. Based on recent economic forecast, inflation rates in the US are expected to be constant 4% per annum. UK inflation rates expected to be 3% per annum. Current exchange rate is sterling 1 is equal to US dollar 1.6. Ignore taxation. So, candidates actually, uh, what to do now? Actually, the question is to evaluate two investments. Evaluate two investments using NPV discounted payback IRR and modified IRR and calculate the duration of two and significance of your results results if you are told that duration alternative 3.2 years and evaluate two alternatives so actually almost all the data done with respect to alternative one almost one we have to calculate all the aspect for alternative two so actually what the question it's about analysis analysis that is one two alternative one alternative two NPV at 9% we have already done that is 1.45 positive and IRR we have already done 10.5% Candidates MIRR already done 13.2 percent Candidates duration already done 3.2 years Candidates payback already done Two point six years discounted payback already done. That is three point zero five years. Now all the working now required for in two with the requirement A and B. With requirement A and B. One moment, please.
Okay, so number one, the first important thing with respect to the requirement A, that's using NPV, discounted payback IRR. So number one to calculate NPV. So we have to work out for NPV of alternative two. Make it quick, it's very simple. It's very, very simple. We can work out for the working. How can we work out accordingly? Number one, we need to put out candidates. It's a practice session and I'm expecting that you all people must be participative with this. And you have to um, calculate all the working, supportive working accordingly. So working. Number one, exchange rate. And we need to work out exchange rate on the basis, on that basis, uh, what is now, what is now, that is US dollar 1.16 per sterling. Number one is spot and that is 1.6. And that's point year zero, and we need it for three years because the evaluation is based on three years. Yes, evaluation based on three years candidates. Yes, here one, two, three. Now work out accordingly. The inflation rates is continuation with what rate? That is 4% and 3%. That is 4% UK, 3%. Sorry, US 4% and 3% UK. So that simple 1.6 multiply by 1.04 divided by 1.03. It's very simple. 1.616 1.616 1 1.04 divided by 1.03 do it quickly and be participative also share me on the whatsapp about the calculation yes reply me that what's the third year ex exchange rate can you please reply me what the third year exchange rate third year exchange rate be participative third year exchange rate That is 1.631, 1 1.04 divided by 1.03. And that's 1 1.647. 1.647. Okay, number one. Now, second important thing that we have to work out very quickly about the NPV working that's year 0, 1, 2, 3. Yes, candidates. Cash flows are uh, given. Foreign currency, yet that is dollars. But in real terms, in 
नेट कैश फ्लोस फॉरेन करेंसी दैट इज डॉलर्स इन रियल terms yes it's given 25 that's 2.6 3.8 but we need नेट कैश क्रोस फॉरेन करेंसी इन नोमिनल यस कैंडिडेट्स आई वांट अ नोमिनल एट द रेट फोर परसेंट इन्फ्लेशन एट द रेट फोर परसेंट इन्फ्लेशन यस प्लीज फोर परसेंट इन्फ्लेशन इट्स मेंशन ऑन द क्वेश्चन दैट्स इन्फ्लेशन रेट इज फोर परसेंट इन यूएस Yes, can you please reply me about it? Twenty-five into one point zero four. That's oh, sorry, twenty-five here zero. That's no effect of real or nominal. Now two point six into one point zero four. That is two point seven zero. Two point seven zero. Only one time inflation. Three point eight into one point zero four power two. That is four point one one. Candidates. That is four point four point six one two. Six one two decimal. Yes, very good. Now exchange. Now we need to convert. now we need to convert in the local currency and we will call it remittance twenty five u s dollar and these call it dollars dollars over sterling that is twenty five divided by one point six That is fifteen point six two five fifteen point six three. Fifteen point six three. Yes. Now convert two point seven divided by one point six one six. Two point seven divided by one point six one six. That is one point six seven. Four point one one divided by one point six three one two point five two and four point six one divided by one point six four seven. That is two point seven nine and two point eight. Very good. Yes, we have done the matter of the remittance. Fifteen point six three one point six seven. Two point five two two point eight. Now, some more cash flows in sterling term. 
means sterling local cash flows the project sterling local cash flows in this question these are local cash flows 3.7 4.2 4.6 3.7 but here also the cash flows in the real terms is mentioned on the question 3.7 4.2 we have to inflate at 3% so avoid real directly calculate the nominal save the time yes please convert the nominal 3.7 and the inflation rate is 3% in the UK. 3.7, 4.2, 4.6. Yes, make it quick. 3.7 into 1.0, 3, 3.81. Yes, come on, be participative. For year two. 4.2 into 1.03 power 2. Four point four five five. That is four point four six. Yes, last one. What's the last one? Please be participative. What is the last one? The cash flows in the real term. That is 4.6 into 1.03 into 1.03 into 1.03. That is 5.026. We can say 5.03. Now, We can work out that is net cash flows sterling and that is fifteen point six three and Add on all these as back 1.68, 3.81, that is 5.48, discount factor 9%, present value. And NPV. Please calculate the NPV and reply me on the WhatsApp group. Yes, candidates. So the NPV final is NPV plus 1.32. That's a net cash flow discount factor 9% and present value. Now the term for the rest of the part. Now we calculate the IRR. Let's suppose a discount factor 15%, 1, 0 0.870, 0 0.756, 0 0.658, A present value factor, oh sorry, the present value with same 15.63 years, 4.77, 5.28 and 5.15. And this, with this, the NPV, 
that is negative 0 0.43 and you can work out with the IRR that is lower discounted that is 9% 1.32 1.32 minus minus plus 0 0.43 15 percent minus 9 percent and approx answer 13.5 percent the answer may vary if you are putting different percentages so no issue at all so 13.5 percent alternative 2 NPV 1.45 IRR sorry uh, NPV 1.32 IRR 13.5 now MIRR And the formula of MIRR that is present value of return phase, present value of investment phase, 1 over N, 1 minus discount rate that is cost of capital, minus 1. So here the discount rate reflect cost of capital that is 9% and we can say that this phase is investment and this phase is return. So this portion and this portion. We can total that is 5.03 plus 5.88 plus 6.04 that is 16.95 and that is 15.63 16.95 present value of return phase 16.95 divided by 15.63 oh yes yes one plus discounted sorry it's not the one minus one plus discount rate that is nine percent minus one that was the typing error or the writing error don't worry and that's reflect if you calculate accordingly that's equals to 12 percent 12 percent so now another point is 12 percent now the aspect of duration that is duration and that is
here one two three and you know that it's based on the present value aspects present value and duration we work out 5.03 proportion 5.8 6.04 So we can calculate 5.03 divided by 16.95 into 1. That is 5.03 divided by 16.95 into 1. That is 0 0.296. That is 0 0.3. And then 5.88 multiply by 2 0 0.69 or 0 0.7 we can say third year That is 0 0.19. Oh, sorry. That's by mistake. 6.04. 6.04 divided by 16.95 into 3. That is 1.0. 69, 1.07. That is 1.1 1 .1 and 0.3 plus 0 0.7, 1.1, 1 .1 and that is 2.1 years. 2.1 years. I'm sorry, that is duration and that is 2.1 years. Payback, simple payback. It's simple payback. That is 15.63 simple payback. 5.48 and this is cash flows and this is cumulative cash flows. 15.63 then 5.84, that is 10.15 negative, 3.17 negative, and 4.66 positive. And it's almost, that is 2 years plus 2.4 that is years. And if it's discounted cash flow, and we work out that is that was we can get the matter from there 15.63 and different. Discounted 5.88. Six point zero four, and that is cumulative. Uh, 
third is 10.60, 4.72 and and that's equals to NPV actually and you can work out accordingly two point seven eight years two point four and two point seven eight two point four and two point seven eight very good brilliant effort by all now the important thing is that that we have done calculation now the important thing is that we need sorry we need to analyze the situation that is C part evaluate you know very well that the most preferable that will be the NPV the most preferable that is NPV if alternative one is higher NPV then we should proceed for that and normally NPV and IRR decision making should be similar but here the case is that IRR decision making is not similar with NPV because IRR prefer higher IRR is 2 alternative 2 so if we say that with respect to NPV alternative 1 is acceptable but IRR says higher IRR here to alternative 2 so this is a conflicting between NPV and IRR so in my previous videos where I conducted a lecture with the IRR and MIRR I said that IRR some limitation and one of the limitation is that IRR may have a conflicted decision with the NPV where the investment returns are different the duration of the investment return are different as compared to one and two but preferably NPV is acceptable but this limitation is not transformed to the MIRR and I am MIRR decision making is similar to the NPV so we will actually prefer MIRR rather than IRR on the other hand yes the duration aspects duration aspects acceptability with reference to two alternative two it means project one returns are higher but having some delayed aspects duration delayed payback delayed discount payback delayed all are same means with respect to time period alternative 2 is preferable but with respect to the returns <clears throat> alternative 1 is preferable final decision depends on the management priorities of decision making either priority for payback or priority for returns and that is what you can analyze this is the summary and you can read it accordingly all other things being equal project to be accepted should be the one with the higher NPV which is alternative one NPV shows the absolute amount by which the project is forecast in increased shareholder wealth and theoretically sounder than the IRR and MIRR method In this case, MIRR method backs up with the NPV, but IRR gives the opposite indication. This conflict arises because IRR makes the wrong assumption about the reinvestment rate. And you can see or watch from the from my videos. Duration of the alternative shows that alternative one is more risky as it was longer to recover half the present value. This is also backed up by the payback figures. 
showing the alternative one too longer takes longer to recover the original outline before making a final decision however there are a number of other important factor must be taken into consideration other factors for example alternative one you can read it alternative one has higher risk of lowering the firm reputation for quality and causing confusion among the customer base overall effect may be lose existing customer but not to gain many new ones this is non financial issues also remove the focus from business yes alternative one means diversified removing the focus marketing a wider range of product may be more difficult than anticipation these are the general points duration is longer which means more riskier these are the factors of alternative but on the other hand alternative to fundamental changes in nature of business from a niche market to value added distributor and the firm may be able to add successful brand reputation of the quality but only possible if flat packs are for guaranteed quality and consistency means it's all about the branding the qualities change in nature of the firms required huge investment new equipments alternative may also result loss of skill workers do we have the skill worker for this we have the experience of it however shorter duration projects shorter duration means lower financial risk but overall given the similarity in npvs between the two project decision will be almost certainly depend on the non financial factors candidates this is what the basic practice question of this particular uh topic investment appraisal i strongly recommend you that you must also have to attempt the question of why land v it's a past paper question why land v one moment please you have to attempt the why land v question why land v and this is june 15 number 1 number 2 Number two, Fan Hurst. Fan Hurst. September, December sixteen. Question two, and this is question one. you must have to attempt this question not just to attempt but also simulate the exam also need to simulate simulate means you have to attempt in a manner that assume that you are sitting in the examination hall time is specific if it's a 25 marks question is specific for the fifth, for 45 minutes and attempt the question accordingly and check the answer with a solution and you can ask me any difficulty any difficulties if you have number 2 i have already shared a question of tisa you just attempt the question of tisa mirr that's all the vac portion we will discuss later so that's all about today's session thank you very much